Hey folks, it's Charles Pluteman with Boating Magazine and we're here today in Washington, North Carolina, the home of Fountain Power Boats. And we have a very special mission today. We're going to get to run Fountain Hall Number no. 1, the very first executioner built in 1980. It's been all refurbished. And here to run the boat with us is the man himself, the king of offshore, multi-world champion, Reggie Fountain. Reggie, how are you today? Fine, thank you, sir. And we want to wish Reggie a happy birthday. Thank you. It's happy. Reggie's birthday, so that makes it an even special, more special day. 83 today. <laughs> so Reggie, 1980, you put this boat in the water. Do you remember that day and what kind of emotions you felt when you well, launched this boat? We felt pretty good that it was going to work okay when we put it in, and it did. We went out and it ran exactly like it should have. So, do you recall what engines were originally in this boat? They were turbocharged, I believe. In this boat, we had 475 horsepower turbocharged Merc cruisers with a, a Bravo drive. And you are always been a Mercury man, right? Always been a Mercury man from the time I started until today. So, we went from 475 twin engines mm -hmm. to what do we have in there now for the new engine? We've got two new Merc Cruiser 565 horsepower that are naturally aspirated. And those are Merc Racing engines, of course, with the Bravo XR drive and yes, the short yes, Speedmaster, correct? Short, short Speedmasters. So, and it runs about 92 miles an hour. And how fast was the boat when you first tested it at Lake X when it was new? In the low 80s, I'm going to say around 83, 84, with the turbocharged motors, 500, I mean with uh, 475 horsepower. So this is a pretty nice engine package for this boat. It is, and the boat's very same as it was back then. We just put a little paint on it. We had to change the upholstery, and we changed some uh, instruments, and we uh, changed the motors and all the drive systems. And now you're good to go. Good to go. I think we need to go out and burn some gas. What do well, you think? I'd like to do that with you. It'd be right my on. pleasure to have you. Reggie, that was quite a ride. That's a lot of fun. Did you enjoy that little blast? Always enjoy it, and the boat ran just as good as it did uh, when it was brand new in 1980, 43 years ago. Of course, we had a lot more speed, and in 83, 84, we're running 91, 92 miles an hour now. Well, that was a lot of fun, and I've got to say, going out in this boat with you is, is sort of like taking a ride in a Model T with Henry Ford or a flight in an airplane with the Wright brothers. You invented this and, and it's been an honor to go out and, and burn some gas and run this boat. Well, thank you very much and it's an honor to be with you too because I've known you a long time and you helped me sell a lot of boats. All right, thank you very much. Folks, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, read all about uh, the repower of this boat and upcoming story in Boating Magazine. <laughs>